Hey guys, welcome back to Chunk Life Media. And today we are at Enemy Midwest doing some crazy stuff and asking some stupid questions. Please enjoy and subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and I'll do the shenanigans. Thank you. Catch us here all weekend, even though this video is going to be out after this convention ends. Yes, probably. Uh, just catch me up today and Saturday because I got to work Saturday night. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, first things first, who are you guys cosplaying as? I'm cosplaying as Jade from The Land of the Lustrious. I'm Ling from Breath of the Wild. I'm cosplaying as Hornet from Hollow Knight and her upcoming game for Silk Song. Perfect. I love your cosplay, honestly. I, as you can see, it's handmade right there, and I give you props for that creativity. I am dressed up as Suichi from Junji Ito. And I'm Tomi. All right. I'm dressed up uh, as the Wind Pillarmans. Uh, I can't really pronounce the Japanese name very well. But the wind pillar man from um, Demon Slayer. I'm Hanato Shoyo from Haiku. And I'm Captain Tosin from Bleach. Awesome, great cosplays, really love it. I am Dr. Robotnik, the world's greatest genius. Awesome, honestly, you do kind of sound like him, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm Waka Pipo from part seven of JoJo. Uh, I come from basically the same clan as Gyro. I'm Jalo Zapelli from JoJo Part 7. And I'm Donkey Kong. And you can only spank this only once. So my name is Oliver, and I'm dressed up as uh, Spirit Blossom Kindred from League of Legends. Our costume member, Toby, but forgot my mask. <laughs> my name's Hal, and I'm dressed up as Spirit Blossom Mari. Prepare for trouble. And make a double. Uh, Sonic. I'm Tails. Uh, we're Team Rocket. Jesse. James. Well, I dressed up as a mage originally, but I got my fucking boy Roy Sword from Fire Emblem. That shit's cool as fuck. I'm Heaven's Door from part four of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I'm uh, Rohan Kishibe from Diamond is Unbreakable as well. What was your first anime? Ooh, that would have had to have been Space Dandy, actually. Space yeah, I used to watch it late at night when, my, when I would get home with my father. <laughs> All right, on the late uh, cartoon show? Adult Swim, actually. What is an underrated anime that people should really get to know more about? came out a really long time ago, but one of my old favorites was Tegami Bachi or Letter B. Uh, and I've never really met another person that likes it, so. What is an anime that everyone seems to love but you? Hmm. Oh, I'll go to you first, since you know the answer. Attack on Titan. What upcoming anime are you excited for? Well, I'm more of a Sonic fan, but I do like anime myself. I'm most excited for the next part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to finally be dubbed. How do you guys feel about the remasters from animes or like continuations of anime? I know part six is coming out and everyone's super excited for it. Yep. Uh, I feel like people are not ready for what's about to happen in part six. <laughs> Um, I don't mind it. I think a lot of the times they end up hopefully doing better upon the original. They do the, the, the source material justice and all in all, it's more anime to look forward to, so. And you know, I've been just collecting bananas for a while, you know, so I've been slacking off, but you know, the only like animes that I've been watching is like, you know, Pokemon and uh, Naruto, but you know, I'm still slacking. <laughs> Would you watch a uh, live action Space Dandy right there? If it was done by a good studio, maybe. Unlike all the other ones, right? Yeah. Is Assassination Classroom like a popular one? I have heard of it. It's it's really good. I think I think it's I think it should be a little more known personally. I would say uh, JoJo, uh, probably because I just can't get past the art style. It's not really for me. <laughs> oh, you just broke my heart. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking forward to the next season of Goblin Slayer. What are some animes that everybody loves but you? My Hero. <laughs> uh, 
I don't like Deku at all. <laughs> Can't stand it. Understandable. What was your first anime? Oh, I'd have to say, I mean, true to the costume, Pokemon. Evangelion. Yeah. How did that shape you to now? I'm depressed. Fairy tale. A lot of people like fairy tale. I, I couldn't get into it. Nah, nah. Uh, I, for me, I'd say Fire Force because for me, it takes too long to get interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, just take too long to get interested for me. I need something to back me like immediately. Like, like but, but for me, Fire Force just take too long. What is a guilty pleasure enemy out there that you, a lot of people consider bad or cringe, but you personally enjoy? Uh, Boku no Piku? Boku no Piku. You did not say that. Yuri on nice. You didn't like Yuri on. Hey. How do you guys feel about the new um, series coming out, like the remasters or like the continuations of some series? Like, I know Bleach is coming back. That's exciting. Uh, they have the remasters for Sailor Moon, Inuyasha with Hat Princess. What do you guys think? I think that it's very exciting to bring back some of that nostalgia that we missed when we were growing up, because I know everybody was in middle school and they kind of went through that phase where they started getting into Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, and they're bringing some of those things back. I think it's very awesome. Well, for me, I'm just happy they finally finished in Bleach. After Bleach went on a hiatus for about like 10 years. And yes, and it, been so, it was so good, it just cut off. So I'm just really relieved that we actually get in the final season. Um, what upcoming anime are you excited for? Uh, Overlord season four and the movie. I don't know, do you have a recommendation? Actually, <laughs> now I have to think about it. <laughs> What's a guilty pleasure anime out there that you that everyone in the world hates or cringes really bad, but you secretly actually enjoy. I secretly enjoy the Himeto Umaru anime because of how fucking annoying of a character she is. Everybody knows like she's a fucking weeb and shit, plays games, and I, it just resonates. I don't fucking know, and especially with my family, where they're like, "That's you." I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> What are some other anime hot takes that you guys have, if, if any? I got one. Okay, so you know the creators of Hunter x Hunter? They also did Yu Yu Hakusho, and Yu Yu Hakusho is 10 times better. <laughs> How I don't like Naruto. <laughs> well, see, I just didn't like the story of how it's just all about Naruto, which it was more about somebody else. Like, I don't know, that Taji or something? I don't know, somebody more cooler than Naruto? Uh, Dragon Ball Z kind of stopped being interesting. I don't know, after the Boo arc, I was like, all right, it's good and done. But people like Super, so. Well, freaking. One Piece is too long and it should have ended a long time ago. Like I love One Piece, but it, but it's, it's too it's too much. Yeah, like 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 come on here, bro. Like no. I like to talk about Part Six of JoJo, how the universe reset it. I miss out my old character. <laughs> oh yeah, the anime, the anime is releasing, so don't worry. Like there, I wanted to continue my stories, and I should probably delete that scene because it's spoilers. Which live action? anime movie is your personal favorite considering the bad rep they have this is the one that you're like you know what I like it I can't remember the name of it but it was the one where the chick's soul gets put into the um robot body and uh, she's uh, with Scarlett Johansson yep 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 yeah that goes to the shell there it is I couldn't remember the name what made you like that movie I love the visuals and it just felt like it was really well done to me uh, my second question is, do you guys have a guilty pleasure, like an anime out there that people hate, like One Piece, because, you know, I guess like a million episodes or some cringe anime out there that you think people should not hate or cringe about? Um, mostly, okay, so I know it's super popular, but a lot of people have been giving it like really bad rep, but My Hero Academia is really good. And I know a lot of people, and same with One Piece, uh, they, because it's popular, um, there are a lot of people who are really mean about it, but it's it's really good still. I like the story a lot of both of them. One Piece is going in really good places too. Uh, I think an underrated anime that I think people should start watching more is Beyond the Boundary. Because I love how the art direction is great from Kyoto Animation. 
and it's just a beautiful anime. But I know it can be confusing to people. I still love it anyway. It, it's, just, it's just, I just love it. Yawamushi Pedal. It's a bicycling, bicycling anime, pretty much. That sounds really interesting. Now, uh, is there, how many seasons is there? I believe there is two seasons. I'm not quite sure. I watched it a long time ago, but I definitely want to watch it again because it's very underrated anime. And it's really good. All right, second question. Uh, if you were able to enter an anime world, what anime world would you want to enter? <laughs> an anime world that I can Call enter. <laughs> Enough, you insolent ape! If there was any anime world I would enter, it'd be one full of robots and machines. Something a little bit like Cowboy Bebop. Or Evangelion. Or Neon Genesis, oh yes. But most especially, my favorite one to enter would have to be Mobile Suit Gundam. I would rule supreme there! <laughs> wow. That's a hard question, man. Dude, do I, do I bite the bullet and just do a, a shitty isekai? I don't know. Because, <laughs> you know, those are pretty good worlds. If it's an isekai world, if you die, you can go into another one. Well, since I'm a monkey, you know, uh, I'm thinking about Dragon Ball Z. I'll be Goku, you know, but, you know, and I'll just be like the crazy giant monkey. Uh, and then one more anime world I want to be in is Swords Art Online. You mean, come on, I want to be like a sword fighter and stuff like that. Come on. Their tails, they have a reputation of getting their tails cut off. I'm okay with it because I don't have a tail! Fair enough. True, yeah, I'm going true. into Overlord then. Overlord? Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a floor guardian or some shit? Yeah, no, I'll just be a regular NPC that like cleans floors and stuff. <laughs> you want to be a fucking maid? Yeah, why not? It'd be a good time. That sounds lit. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'll say I want to be Attack on Titan World and fuck it. Oh, uh, Overlord for sure. Yeah. It would definitely be Konosuba. The character designs are so adorable and it's hilarious beyond belief. Do you guys have any, going back to Stone Ocean being the manga coming back and reanimated, be an anime, um, any manga that you guys recommend people or hope for them to animate in the future? Um, I'm mostly an anime watcher, so I, I wouldn't read manga that much. Seven Deadly Sins, they did my boy Eskinor versus Meliodas Dirty. They did him dirty. We need to get that battle to be done. But uh, other than that, I think they did a really good job. Season 3 was just the only outlier in terms of quality. So Any anime or manga recommendations that you guys would like to give out? We got to we gotta share the culture, man. We got to be... I would say right now, I'm watching um, on Funimation. It's called Vivi, Fluorescent Eye Song. If you haven't checked it out, it's a quick binge, and you can definitely get into it. And it's not exactly what you're expecting. So definitely check it out. So for me, it's really popular right now, and it's Tokyo Revengers on Crunchyroll. Yes, it's so good. So good. So I watched the first episode, and I was so ever since. And then the, the season finale was really, really good. So I can't wait for the next arc. Anything you would like to plug, like uh, on a Twitter account, Facebook? All righty. Yeah, so find me on Twitter, Mebjer, that is M-E-B-J-R. You'll see me with an orange hat going like this. Make sure to follow that. Go on my Instagram, search up Meb1001. That's M-E-B-1001. Um, if you want to follow me, my name is Sonic the Derp on Twitter and Twitch and all that stuff. And that's just, that's just my thing. That's me. If you want to hear more of this excellent Mike Pollock impression of Dr. Eggman, you can follow Dr. R underscore MP4 with the Metroid Dread Samus profile picture. And if you want to know what my actual voice sounds like, it kind of sounds like this. A little bit like Nathan Billion. Yeah, so my uh, friends and I, we run a, uh, a joint Instagram called AugustAngels.cost because all of us were born in August. Um, and they have an art Instagram, I'm sure they'd like to plug. Oh yeah, it's caught too fun. And for those of you wondering where I got my inspiration from, go check out Devil Artemis. It's on YouTube.com. Um, oh, and all the Dragon Ball Z content is owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Ocular Toriyama. Please support the official release. Live your best life and enjoy yourself. You can't use Facebook, it got hacked. Bruh. You can follow us at Weeble Slice on YouTube. 
spell that for him? You can spell that out with W-E-E-B-U, Slice. And yeah, check us out. All right, thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the con. What do you think about this convention? Uh, I think it was fun. I enjoyed all four days being here. Um, I especially like the D&D panels and the, how to fight like uh, NART. What do you think about this convention? Um, I really like the people, really like the energy all these cosplayers have, so overall 10 out of 10. What do you think about this convention? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. We'll be back next time. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that shenanigans. Alright, do your favorite Fortnite dance. Ready, go. I hate that hedgehog! And I love bananas! Banana Slammer! Stay perfect.